Okay, we are dehydrating. Oh, marshmallows. Lee and I didn't know you can do that. Yeah, oh, of course you can. Um, they are in Lucky Charms. They put them in your hot cocoa. You know the ones with marshmallows? Well, they just put a little snippet of one of these and we buy into it. Oh, it's a marshmallow. Dehydrate your own marshmallows, people. Put them in your own hot chocolate. If you have not tasted a whole dehydrated marshmallow, you have not lived, people. <laughs> They're so good. Oh my goodness. Um, they're 50 cents a bag at the Amish. There are some that were a quarter, but they were more stuck together. I didn't want to deal with that, so I just paid the extra quarter per bag. So 50 cents a bag. And when you put these in here, um, just remember if they touch, the area that they touch will not get dehydrated. Will not get dehydrated. So what I do is I put them in here. I don't really care if they touch. I put them in here. I let them dry out. When they're just about done, I will go through, pick the ones apart that are attached, separate them. I'm separating them a little bit now, but I will do it again once they're almost dry. So the parts where they are touched, because they're all touching, the ones that are touching, you have, see this? You can leave it right now. You can leave that right now. But when they're almost done, you have to separate it because the, the inside where they touched did not dehydrate. That's just how marshmallows do it, okay? That's how they work. But for the first, until they're almost all practically dried, it doesn't matter, just stick them in here. You wanna take them all apart, do them all separate, separate them, well, God bless you. I ain't got that kind of time. I will do it and stick them in for the last hour and they'll be fine. But if you have never tasted these dehydrated, they're just a crunchy little snack. And you put them in your hot chocolate, you put them in your cereal, you could put them in anything, but at least you know what it is. You can even make your own marshmallows. I'm not gonna get into that because I have not done it, nor do I want to do it. <laughs> but marshmallows, everybody loves them. It's something good. And if it's a hard snack, it's something that you, um, we, I do have some already vacuum sealed. So when these dry, we will vacuum seal them, or not vacuum seal, but um, put them in the Mylar bag. And you can take them with you in your backpack. You can put some in your backpack because this is an awesome snack when they're crunchy. Your kids are going to love them. You can, um, so many different things you can do with them once they're dehydrated. Um, take some of these off here. I don't need all of my trays. So amazing. Oh, don't get in the way. I'm not. What are you doing? Okay, you heard me. I'm dehydrated. Has a marshmallow? Shall I let them talk to? Let me get a bowl. Yeah, you get a whole bowl. Okay, I'm not gonna give you that many because last time you didn't need them. Mm -hmm. Left them there. That's so good. That's and soft. Few in here, shut it, and I'm putting it on a um, let me see what number it is. One fifty. I put it on one fifty on the dehydrator. And we're just gonna leave them there and then we'll get back to you. 
Okay, so here you can see, um, you can't really feel that they're dehydrated, but they are very crunchy to the touch. Um, this one is really, you still feel softness. If you just go through them like this, make sure none of them are connected. See like this? Oh, my cat walked in the room so the dogs are going crazy. See like this one? Let's take it apart. Let's see. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Um, you just want to make sure that none of them, you like this one, hooked together, let's do that. It's just because if they're hooked together, that, in, see this, inside, is mushy. Because it's really hard for the dehydrator to get in between a marshmallow because of their thickness, they're mushy in here. So you want to keep that, you want to separate that. You're gonna check each tray. You can see this one's together. Let's pop it. See these little clusters? Look at that. See, you can see it pull apart. They pull apart. That means it didn't dehydrate where they were touching. See, it's all gooey. Look at that. You gotta separate them. Do not put these in a mylar bag or vacuum seal them. Unless you are 100% sure there's no moisture in any of these. And the only way to tell is to do what I'm doing. Let's go through and make sure they're all separated. Last thing you want is a little bit of moisture in there and then they just ruin all of them because it turns moldy. It will turn moldy, you guys. It's not a good thing. Check them all. See that? That'll turn moldy. You gotta just make sure they're all, see that? They're all separated. And then just put them back in and we'll check it again in a couple hours. Okay, so these are all done and they are, hear that? Let me see. Oh, dropped it. Hear that? They're done. They are hard as are. Don't be looking at my ghee. You can't have any. You gotta help me make it if you want some. Oh, I just stepped on it. <laughs> anyway, you just get them, put them in a bowl, and then you mylar bag them or vacuum seal them. Um, I haven't tried to vacuum seal. They're pretty hard, so I don't think they could be crushed when you vacuum seal them, I think they'll hold nicely, but how long is a different story. Um, the vacuum seal I find is wonderful when you're doing frozen foods and soups and things like that in the freezer. I do not care for it for long-term rice, beans, and all that because they do lose their suction. Um, and I know this for a fact. So, um, but, if that's all you got, that's all you got, right? Use it. Do it. Use it. You know? Is what it is. We gotta do with what we got. What? I saw the Spiderman with all crawl with eight legs and I hit my foot with it. You saw a spider crawl with eight legs? Yep. And you killed it dead? Uh -huh. Alright. It's my, about that time. He saw my spin my ankle because he swore it up. Jeremy jumped off the stairs at church and he um 
Didn't sprain his ankle, but he hurt it really bad. But he's fine now, right? Janet said it was burning up, so I, he, he said I didn't really sprain it. No, he didn't sprain it. You just well, bruised said, it. Yeah, but she said it's been blowing up. Yeah. Did she give you medicine? Huh? No. Okay. I told her she didn't have to. She didn't need to. But I sent it anyway, just in case. Well, well it's okay. Okay. This is four bags of marshmallows, you guys. That's it. How amazing are these going to taste in your hot chocolate? Yep. Hot Mommy, chocolate. do yourself a favor. Do this. Don't tell nobody. Bag them and label them spinach or something like that. And should the uh, should the bad happen, and you're um, you know having a bad day or what have you, um, maybe you pull out some hot chocolate. Maybe you don't have hot chocolate. Maybe all you have is water. Maybe all you have is water to boil. Boil some water, make believe, and put some of these in it. Okay. If things are that bad, hide these away. Label it spinach or um, chickpeas or something. And should should um, things go south, be their hero. Be your husband's hero. That tiny little gesture of love is going to go a million miles tenfold. I'm telling you, that one little gesture of love could move your family another month or two, okay? Love you. Try it. Amazing. Okay, so um, to finish up on the marshmallows, we were able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags out of four bags, and all I do... Make sure you like to see what you're seeing. And then all I do, put the funnel in the bag. Scoop them in there. You can use a scooper, use your hand. I wash my hand. And it feels a little short. So I am going to grab a few from each one. A couple, it's just a few short. Because, you guys, this would be something amazing to have. You cannot store long term um, the other marshmallows before they're dehydrated just because they won't stay. You know, they're, they're mushy. You know, so dehydrating them, just like they do in your cereal. Lucky Charm, Marshmallow Dracula, whatever the heck his name is, right? Okay, so we were able to get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were able to get ten. How amazing is that, you guys? I've done this once, and so now I've got 20 bags. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Uh, uh, mommy, mommy, I'm close to something. There we go. There we go. I got it. Anyway, um, so now I've got 20 bags. I might do another 10. Because why not, um, you know, if I want to be sharing food, there are other families here that have children. Why wouldn't I want them to have the same treat? if things go that bad or maybe we're getting along great and whatever and it's just the night that we want to throw a surprise for the kids you know it, it, it's for whatever i just know that it's a good idea i i feel it in my heart that it's a good idea same with if you guys all you hardcore preppers out there about talking about bugging out and all that that's great and fine and dandy but do the math with this one um Say, you, you know, you're humping it, you got 10 miles to go, or not even, maybe you got a mile to go. 
or two or five. Maybe you gotta pump, you know, maybe you gotta pump five miles a day. But you're not alone. You got children. What are you gonna do? How about you make sure your bag and the kids' bags have candy, hard candy. You give them that sugar, a couple pieces of that candy, and they're gonna hump it for you, okay? It'll be a good boost for them. Yeah, do we want them having that at that particular time? I think so. I really do. Um, you know, I just, I think it's a good idea to keep some uh, candy in your backpack. Hard candy, not chocolates and stuff. And, and gum. Not none of that sugar-free crap. Get them some gum with some sugar. Get them some bubblicious or something. Because when this comes down and you need them to, you need them to hoof it for you, they're gonna hoof it if you, they got some sugar in them. Let me tell you, this kid drinks a, a, one of them little kids drinks. He's wired on go for, oh my lord. So, do yourself a favor and do that. Then all you do is my water bag and guys. That's it. My battery is about to die, so like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff um, to show people. Just give them ideas of what they can do. This is important stuff. You might say important stuff to do marshmallows. It'll be important when that time comes to pull them out, let me tell you. I don't know. I've never been in that situation. None of us have, but as a mother, we've been in other situations. We've been in other situations, so. So all you hardcore dads and, you know, take a little advice from a mom. Get you some candy, put it in your pack. You probably already do, some of you. But if you don't, you might want to do it. Just saying. Oh, what are these? The dead chip bags? Those are mylar bags. There's beans inside there. With oxygen absorber. For my food storage. Because I'm running out of mylar bags. And um, beans and rice don't need a whole lot of help. So. Yep, get you some. Did a video on it. I'll do another video because that one was really lengthy. Alright, get the crap lacking.